I bet we're going. <clears throat> Hi everybody, this is Mike Igliolo for Student Stock. Uh, recently we did a photo shoot and we want to show you the post-production on that photo shoot. This is the one with the trampoline where um, we were lucky to use Christy and Matt as models and hot summer day we went out and shot pictures. You were probably um, already looking at that video. This is what we did with the images afterwards. This was my favorite image um, that I got of Christy and you can see the trees in the background and what we wanted to do was create this image that I just put in front and I want to show you how we got it to look like that and what, what it took. So we'll go back to this one. First thing I had to do is cut it out and like anybody in Photoshop, it's probably our least favorite thing to do. So what I'm doing on this is since she's surrounded by blue, I use the magic wand, that tool right there. Here's my tolerance. I've set it at 22. Um, some people might say, well, how do you know what number to set it on? That's one of the things that takes time. That's where experience comes in. But you'll learn if you set it too low of a number, you'll find out you're clicking lots. And if you set it too high, you'll see it picks too many things. But I've picked 22. I click in the blue and you can see it's already outlined her pretty well. Um, I'm gonna do that again because I actually have cut out that layer. So let's do that one more time. And you can see it's picked about 90% of the blue around her. Um, instead of choosing this area and holding shift, I'm gonna to go to the word select and pick the word similar. Now you see how it just automatically filled in. In fact, if I zoom in, you can see it's picked around her hair and all of these important areas. There's where it was before. I picked similar. There's, it's chosen all of that area. Then you're not done. You still have to do the work around the green area. And if we pick the green area, it's not gonna be the same as that blue. So what you're gonna to have to do is hand cut it. To do that, I'm just gonna hold shift and start drawing this area. I'm also holding option down so that I get a rubber band effect, this a feel. And I'll just click really quickly around her because I've already done the work in cutting her out, but I'll just show you how you add. So I'm going around that shoe right there. I'm drawing a box all the way around this area, coming back to the start area, and you can see it's added this area. When you're done cutting it out, it will look like this. Once you've got it entirely cut out, you need to turn it into a layer. Shortcut for that is Command J. I now have a layer of our model. And on this same page, what I like is I like the blue color that she's already in. So I've chosen the background. I pick the eyedropper. I click on this top of the blue sky right there. You can see it pop right into the foreground here. I reverse those. I click on this lighter blue right here so that I have a nice fade from light blue to dark blue. Use the gradient tool. I think I'll make this image a little smaller. And since I'm on the layer, and I've already got, uh, I'm on the background layer, I've got her cut out already, all I have to do is go from light to dark. And you can see how she's now in a nice blue. Next thing you wanna do is take her and put her into the shot that you want. Now in this particular case, you can see I've placed her in clouds. So I'm gonna take this image right here, and open up the one that we just cut out, and I'm gonna take that layer, I'm gonna move that photo over a little bit, put it side by side with the one I wanna uh, use, which is this one right here. There she is. You can see if there's a difference between these two. Let's explain that for a second. These two images, same image, all I've done is this is the one we were working on as I rotated the image a little bit. You can see how I, when I put it in here, it starts, to, it starts to make a little more sense. There she is. I'm gonna drag her and move her into our other photo.
There she is. Now I'll rotate her. You can see that it's starting to shape up. Um, you can see this image, I've lightened it too. So I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna go into Image, Adjust, Bright Contrast. Take this image, lighten her up. And that's getting close enough. The last thing you need to see that I do here is how did I get her leg to blend into the clouds? And I did that by grabbing the erase tool, making sure that I'm on the um, correct layer, making the um, size of that tool larger. You can see by the circle right there. I'm gonna make it, that's too large. My shortcut for doing that, by the way, is I go right to the source, go to image size, slide down, click on the image, make sure you're on the right layer, and then I just want to erase this part of her leg. So I can do that, and you can see how she, her leg is starting to fall into the clouds. What I like to do then is lower the opacity to about 50%. That shortcut is by using the brackets. And now I'm just doing a little bit more of the leg and you can see how she's blending into the clouds that we've got there, jumping out of that with her camera in hand. Zoom in. There you go. That's just a little post-production after you've gotten your shot. Run this by a couple times, you might need to do this a couple times just to catch on all the different things. Let us know at Student Stock how this goes for you. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.